the trim ties of a six meter square area and we have been able to estimate the wall from our estimation we estimated this to be three carton and a half and we estimated this 25 by 40 to be 20 cartons hi guys you're welcome back to wapili concept tv so guys today we want to discuss about how we can estimate bedroom ties for you to estimate bedroom ties these are the information you will be given like you have a house you want to estimate the house and you have this dimension given the dimension given here is uh, the width and the length which is this two meter by three meter that's total two by three that's six meter square that is the floor area that is the floor area of the of the toilet so when we are talking of the bedroom bedroom is about you have to tile up both the floor and the wall because of water so to tile up the wall you need the perimeter the total perimeter of the whole floor of the of the bedroom and the height of where you want to tie level height level you want to tie up so this three this one will also be three and this two that's how you estimate the perimeter perimeter is sum of all these angles multiply by the height that will give you the perimeter of the wall design of the the total square meter of the wall ties needed for that bedroom or toilet so but when you are talking about the wall ties you need to estimate the opening we have the window opening and we have the door opening mostly if we mostly most of the door windows of a bedroom are not as big as the standard room so we use mostly is about 600 mm by 600 mm which is about 0.6 meter by 0.6 meter this is window and this is door and the standard toilet door size is about 750 mm by 2100 mm that's the height and the width so for which you guys after getting the necessary information we need to estimate this ties now is to calculate before you estimate the number of ties you want to use there are I, different options in tiling the bedroom is either you use a 25 by 40 wall ties or a, a 30 by 60 wall ties this is a 30 by 60 wall ties what we mean by 30 by 60 this is 300 mm by 600 mm this is 30 by 60 and uh, this is 25 by 40 and these are the measurements of the Nigerian wall ties but when you are talking about other foreign ties Spanish that we have a uh, we have 120 by I think 120 by by 10 120 by 20 yeah we have bigger ties that can be used for wall design in the foreign ties design but today we are basically putting our estimation on these two wall ties and uh, the floor ties also can be mostly we recommend the rustic ties for the floor of the for the floor we recommend rustic ties for the floor of toilets because in order of bedroom to avoid slippery rustic ties will grip the leg very well so this is a 40 by 40 floor rustic ties for bedroom or toilet floor so now there are options in, in tiling up the floor of the toilet also is either you use a 40 by 40 or use a 60 by 60 so today guys we are concentrating our estimation on the these two types 
40 by 40 for the floor, then 25 by 25 by 40 for the wall. So firstly, we need to estimate the floor ties. Now, using now using 40 by 40 floor first. 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter ties or it's also called 400 mm by 400 mm so you are saying the same thing so how many numbers of ties do we need to tile up the floor of a six meter square so it's total square total square floor total square meter of the floor of floor is a six meter square so what is the square meter of a pieces this is a piece this is a pieces of this ties and this is 40 by 40 which is 40, 400 mm is 0.4 meter 0.4 meter by 0.4 meter so if you multiply these two together we get the square area of this single ties so that is what we want to estimate. So that's 0.4 by 0.4. I think it will give us point uh, a meter. That's 0.4. That's 0.16 meter square, which is also approximately 0 0.4 meter by 0.4 meter. So this is about this 0.4 of a piece is square meter of a piece of 40 by 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter is a 0 0.16 meter square 0 0.16 meter square so if you have the square meter of a piece of ties to be 0 0.16 meter square, then how many pieces we are we going to need to tile up a 6 meter of a, of the toilet floor? So what we just need is that number of ties needed, number of ties needed is now equal to total square meter. Divided by square meter of a piece. Which is equal to 6 meter square divided by 0 0.16 meter square. So, this is going to give us 6 divided by 0.16. That's This is 37.5 pieces. That's the numbers of this. The numbers of this piece that will be needed. If you are counting it after time, you are going to get about 38 pieces of this. But in tiling, we are prone to estimate damages of court and all of that purpose, all of that damage that may occur. So we are always estimating, we are always estimating damages that may occur. So we estimate damages or breakage to be total square meter multiplied by five percent of the total meter. total area which is equal to 6 meters square multiplied by 0 0.05 that are the damages waste we are going to estimate that as a 6 times 0 0.05 that's about 0 0.3 meters square so that's a 0 0.3 meters square 
So we divide it to know the number of cases of damages we need, number of damages needed. Is now equals to 0.3 divided by 0.16. So we divide by 0.16. We have 1.8 meter. That's about two meters, two pieces of ties needed for breakage. But in a real sense, I would advise we use 10 percent because some break even white transportation. So if you use 10 percent of this, 10 percent of this, that will be getting 0.6. Then we'll be getting about four pieces of these ties to be needed if we use 10 percent. If you use 5%, it's all about we think of the breakage and breakage your cost due to cutting and breakage your cost due to transportation, the movement of ties from one place to another. So for we to estimate the total numbers of ties needed for the floor now is that we need 37, there is a 38 pieces here for the floor and four pieces here for the damages. That means we are having 4 plus 30, that's total number of ties needed. Is equals to, this is 37, approximately 38 pieces. This is 4 pieces. So 38 plus 4, we have 42 pieces of ties needed. So when we estimate 42 pieces of ties. Now, when we have 42 pieces of these ties, the reason I'm doing it in the number of pieces is just this is what we are talking about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, 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 twelve. So we'll be needing 40 pieces. Automatically, we need 38 pieces to fix the floor, but due to cutting, we, be, we estimate it to be 42 pieces. Now, it now depends of which product you are buying. Is it imported 40 by 40 you want to buy? Is it Nigeria made 40 by 40? So, let's put it as our country, which is Nigeria. Putting it, our packing size of the Nigeria made ties here is uh, we use our packing size here to be 12 pieces. We have 12 pieces in in a carton. Number of pieces in Nigerian made ties. Number of pieces in Nigerian made ties. Is 12 pieces. So how many cartons are we going to need for this floor? So we are going to need 42 divided by 12 42 divided by 12 we have 3.5 cartons so this is the number of ties we'll be needing to light up the floor of this bedroom if you are using a 40 by 40 floor ties so this is how you estimate the numbers of ties needed in a mathematical experimental way but if you are using it where we if it is a professional that want to go into the bedroom and estimate within a second or a minute you just say as since we know the packing size of every size, as in our normal packing size is uh, our packing size of the carton of Nigerian ties, Nigerian made, is uh, 1.92 meters square. That is the packing size. So we just divide six divided by this. That is six divided by 1.92. Then we had damages of for uh, ten percent. We are going to get the same thing. So, guys, this is how we estimate the floor 
baptized in numbers of peace. This is just a mathematical experimentation. If you want to go into direct estima estimation, is available. So this is the floor ties. We need three and a half cartons of 40 by 40 to tie up a six meter square area. So how do we estimate the wall ties? That is what we want to do now. So after estimating the floor, we need to estimate the wall. So from there, we'll now calculate how much are we going to spend to tie up a a six meter square area of the toilet, including the workmanship and the other materials needed. So now the wall ties. What we need in the wall is the total perimeter. We have two, two, three, two, three, two, three. That's six and four. That's total perimeter of the wall. Of wall is 10 meter. Then the height, height of the top, the trunk, height, height of wall is 3 meter. So what we have here is uh, the square meter, square meter of the wall of the tomb is now equals to 10 multiplied by 3 that's 30 meters square but you see i i when a professional wants to do this styling sometimes we estimate so guys since we have our total wall of the bedroom what we mean by the total wall is it? when you are in the bedroom we have the four wall angle we have to estimate the perimeter and the height with this we'll be able to estimate the square area of the whole wall or on the square area we have our door which we move in and we have window that gives ventilation into the bedroom so these are also some of the opening that we need to cut out out of this 30 meter square so when we want to cut out this opening we need to know the size of our window and the size of our door so we have our window to be 600 mm by 600 mm which is our opening our opening is 600 mm by 600 mm which is also equal to approximately 0.6 multiplied by 0.6 which is 0.36 meter square so we have our door this is window this is our door our door is a 750 mm by 2100 mm that is the standard toilet door size if it is room room is 900 mm if it is main entrance main entrance is 1200 mm if it is extra which is uh, 1200 mm is four feet 1500 is five feet 1800 is six feet so toilet doors is 750 mm which is approximately 0 0.75 multiplied by 2.1 so we have uh, so these are what we are going to subtract from so we have it as 1.575 meter square so we are going to subtract these two from this and don't forget our 10 percent of our our damages so subtracting this two point subtract this and this from this we have uh, we have a uh, 0.36 plus 1.575 that's 1.935 30 minus 1.935 
we have about 28.1 meter that's after subtraction We have uh, 30 minus bracket 0.36 plus 1.575. This is 28.1 meters squared. So we need to add our damages. I try to add 10 percent for me to not to lose because as a contractor, you need to always know that you have to avoid requesting more. So I had. 10% of my damages, 10% of, if I add 10% of, let me do 30 meters. So we have about 3 meters square. So we are still going back to the same. So sometimes I don't even bother to remove the opening. But for, for mathematical purpose, we remove opening and for this 10% is much. Sometimes, 5% is okay. For transportation is another problem in this tiling. So 5% or 5%, we are using 10% is kilometer. We are using 5% of 30 meters square is 1.5 meters square. So it depends on the breakage level. So now if you had 3 meters square to 28 meters, that is about our total square meter. It's 31 meters squared on the 10 percent damages. But on the 5 percent damages is a 29.5 meters squared on 5 percent damages. So I would rather advise if I want to estimate for this type of job, I will not remove the opening sometimes because if there is any wastage or damage that will occur, it will cover up. This two opening the cover for the breakage that will occur in the tiling of the job. So now, what do we want to estimate now? We have known our. I mean, I'm going on this 29.5 meters square. Then using our area, or we should even use this as our 30 meters square area so what type of ties do we want to use so now we want to use this this is 25 by 40 centimeter centimeter which is 250 mm by 400 mm same thing as 0 0.25 meter by 0.4 meter so that is just the analysis of the single ties here. So using these ties, we'll be using it as a, as a piece of this size is a piece of uh, 25 centimeter by 40 centimeter or 250 mm by 400 mm or 0.25 meter by 0.4 meter so we work in meter now it has been converted from centimeter to mm to meter so the total square meter of the piece of this size is uh, that's 0.25 by 0.4 is 0.1 meter square 0.1 meter square that is a piece of this is 0.1 meter square so a piece is then how many pieces are we going to use to tile up a wall of a 30 meter square so total number of ties in there is not equal to how many pieces do we need? We have 30 meters divided by 0.1 meters squared, which is equal to 30 divided by 0.1. We need about 300 pieces. 300 pieces of uh, 25 by 40. 
So using Nigeria standard packaging size, using Nigeria packaging size, which is 1.5 meter square per carton. That is what this 25 by 40 is packed as 1.5 meter square per carton. So and in a carton we have 15 pieces of this in a carton of in a carton of uh, 25 by 40 we have 15 pieces so how many pieces are we going to have from 300 pieces needed to tile up a wall of uh, 30 meters straight that's 300 divided by 15 is equals to pound to give us the numbers of cartons of ties needed. That's a 20 cartons of 40 of 25 by by 40 war ties will be needed. So guys, in conclusion of this, we have been able to estimate this bedroom ties of a six meter square area and we have been able to estimate the wall from our estimation we estimated this to be three carton and a half and we estimated this 25 by 40 to be 20 cartons so guys the next is to estimate how much are we going to use to tile up this six meter square bedroom the cost of the tiling cost of ties, cost of labor and other materials needed to tile up the 6 meter square area so guys thank you this is Wabili Concept TV don't forget to subscribe to this channel and watch of the part 2 of this class next class we will be discussing about 30 by 60 and 60 by 60 so we will be doing more of estimation of these ties thank you.